Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the DAZN recap from the Ramirez versus Bartholemy DAZN card that took place on, excuse me, on uh, Saturday, on Saturday, April 27th. And again on DAZN, it was a triple header. So before we get into that, if you could uh, smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, um, you know, I didn't get to see this one live. I had to go back and watch the highlights. Uh, my son had a baseball tournament. But, um, you know, pretty much what I thought was going to happen is what happened. Um, you know, uh, Oscar Duarte first against Joseph Diaz Jr., um, I, I just felt like Diaz just didn't have it much more left and I felt like Duarte was going to stop him and that's exactly what happened. You know, it was a good, it was a good, uh, matchup. They, they were, uh, throwing, you know, uh, Diaz was definitely in a fight and then at some point Duarte kind of took over and, um, and stopped him in the late rounds and, uh, you know, Duarte, uh, comes back down to lightweight successfully. We'll see if he can get something else, uh, moving on forward. Um, uh, he's not a top 10 guy for me, even with the win over Diaz, but a good win for him, something he needed uh, in this crossroads fight, and he pushes forward now. So a good, solid win. Congrats to him. In terms of JoJo Diaz, I, I really think that should be it. He's lost, um, I want to say he's lost uh, four of his last uh, five fights now, something along those lines. Um, that At some point, it just clicks where it's just not there anymore, and I don't believe it's there anymore for uh, for JoJo. You know, I'm, I, I was always a, a fan of his. He had a lot of talent, but um, you know, again, what, once the losses just start piling up like this, it's just uh, you might just have to hang him up. And I think he, I think he should be hanging him up. So that's just my opinion. Now um, we get into the next um, uh, fight, the co-feature, Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus former world title challenger Thomas Dulorme. And Virgil Ortiz made little work of the veteran Delorme. I thought it was going to be a knockout in the early rounds, but he destroys Delorme in one round, which to me, again, not too too surprising. Landed a vicious left hook to the body, knocking him out, putting him down and out. Uh, he could not get back up. And now he makes a serious statement and confirms his huge showdown with Tim Zhu that is taking place as the co-feature to Crawford and Madrimov as uh, on August 3rd on Amazon pay-per-view. Um, you just couldn't ask for a, a bigger statement victory to confirm that showdown for uh, Virgil Ortiz. Big win right here. Uh, Thomas Delorme, a veteran, been in there with everybody. Um, you know, I, I think it's time for him as well to hang him up. You know, I think I think this proves that he's not really. I mean, if he didn't know it already, he's not really going to be in that big time mix. And um, you know, don't want to see a guy like him getting hurt. So uh, I think that should be it for him. Um, but uh, but you know, a valiant career and effort, and um, you know, uh, a tough loss. But you know, a valiant again, a valiant career and a valiant effort. Now, uh, looking at the number one or the main event. Uh, Jose Ramirez and Rancis Bartholemy. Um, you know, again, I, I I told you guys that Kid Blast Bartholemy is a former two division champ. He can fight, and he rocked Ramirez. Should have had a knockdown in that first round, um, but then he also hit him behind the head, uh, which really uh, threw a monkey wrench into things. Um, and uh, after that, just you know, it, it was uh, Ramirez just outworked them, and he definitely, you know, his pressure. Uh, was wearing down Bartholemy, but Bartholemy continued to land that left down the middle, which seems to be the punch that uh, can hurt um, can hurt uh, Ramirez, uh, especially if you're a southpaw. And uh, Bartholemy landed that shot over and over. So, um, but Ramirez walks away with a clean, unanimous decision. So, um, and uh, deserving one, you know. So he pushes forward, been inactive. Uh, you know, the last couple of years only fought once per calendar year, but now hopefully he'll be more active. Um, we'll discuss his what's next when we do his video uh, next week. Um, but uh, a, a tough, um, a tough win. You know, uh, it, it wasn't an easy one. Bartholemy 
Uh, tough loss, but I think Rancy still has juice left if he wants to keep rolling. Um, I think you can argue, with, especially at 140 pounds, that there's plenty of fights and opponents. And if Rancy wants to go in as the quote-unquote gatekeeper and make some more money, I think he can definitely do that following this performance against Ramirez. He looked solid against Gary Antoine Russell. Remember, that was somewhat of a controversial stoppage in that, in that loss that he had to him. And he looked solid against Ramirez here, too. And, um, and had Ramirez hurt, you know? So I definitely think Bartholemi can still compete. Not a top 10 guy, so he's not gonna get a what's next video, but I am interested in seeing what he does moving forward. But Ramirez, we will get a what's next video on him, and we'll discuss more in detail uh, what we've heard and what could be going on for him moving forward. So that's it, that's what I got. That's my uh, Ramirez versus Bartholemi, the zone recap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.